we will discuss uh, rc passage from cat 2019 slot 2 which is uh, about urban settlements right so first uh, we we'll, the first half of this we are going to look at how do we read the passage what do we get out of it what do we understand and then move on to the questions and then solve the questions urban settlements magic of squatter cities is that they are improved steadily and gradually by their residents to a planner side these cities look chaotic i trained as a biologist and to my eye they look organic so they are talking about squatter cities what do you mean by squatter cities people who come and occupy places in the cities are called squatters uh, squatter cities are also unexpectedly green so green they mean they are talking about how good they are environmentally they have maximum density 1 million people per square mile in some areas of mumbai and have minimum energy and material use how green they have answered in the next statement people get around by foot bicycle rickshaw or the universal shared taxi so people get around by these different methods but these are all less energy consuming methods not everything is efficient in the slums though in the brazilian favelas favelas is a type of uh, uh, settlement uh, like a slum so you must uh, if you have watched movies that happen in brazil usually it is there uh, for example i guess in some fast and furious movie it was there so the brazilian favelas are closely stacked houses built with lot of reusable materials including wood where electricity is stolen and therefore free people leave their lights on all day but in most slums recycling is literally a way of life the dharavi slum in mumbai has 400 recycling units and 30000 rag pickers so they are saying though in some places it not environmentally very friendly for example in dharavi slum there are about so many rag pickers and so much recycling happens which is good for the environment 6000 tons of rubbish are sorted every day in 2007 the, the economist reported that in vietnam and mozambique waves of gleaners sift the sweepings of hanoi street hanoi is the capital of vietnam just as mozambican children pick over the rubbish of maputo's main tip so every city in asia and latin america has an industry based on gathering old cardboard boxes so this is again about environment and green how cities can be positive environmentally in his 1985 article carl thorp made a statement that still jars with more most people what do you mean by jar jars is an it feels unnatural it feels unpleasant with most people the city is the most environmentally benign form of human settlement you heard about uh, malignant and benign malignant uh, is a word used in cancer so malignant is bad cancer which means it can spread from one place to another benign tumor uh, is a uh, i hope the spelling is right so benign tumor is good because it is a tumor but you, once you remove the tumor your the cancerous growth is gone forever so that is what benign means malignant is bad which means it spread so remember this as an idea so malignant and benign which means environmentally benign form of human settlement environmentally is a good form of human settlement each city dweller consumes less land less energy less water and produces less pollution than his counterpart in settlements of lower densities green manhattan was the inflammatory title of a 2004 new yorker article by david owen by the most significant measures he wrote new york is the greenest community in the united states and one of the greenest cities in the world the key to new york's relative environmental benignity is its extreme compactness placing 1 and 1/2 million people on a 23 square mile island sharply reduces their opportunities to be wasteful so he says they don't waste anything unnecessarily they utilize they take out the maximum possible value utility from anything that has been given to them he went on to note that this very compactness forces people to live in the world's most energy efficient apartment buildings so what is talk about this in this entire thing first they talk about what is squatting and then uh, squatter cities examples of squatter cities and then they say one con of uh, such cities and then several pros of uh, goodness of cities how it is environmentally helpful clean and all of that right 
Urban density allows half of humanity to live on 2.8% of the land. Consider just the infrastructure efficiencies. According to a 2004 UN report, the concentration of population and enterprises in urban areas greatly reduces unit cost of piped water, sewer, drains, road, electricity, garbage collection, transport, health care and schools. So what do you mean by that? They are saying unit cost of delivery of water in a huge village which uh, let's say uh, runs for acres and acres and acres or kilometers and kilometers for uh, transporting water to one house or transporting electricity to one house there is going to be huge amount of loss when there are so many millions of people in such small amount of land all transportation and all per unit cost is going to come down drastically which is why they say hey you're saving a lot which is mean which means it is more green the nationally subsidized city of Manaus in northern Brazil uh, answers the question of how to stop deforestation, give people decent jobs, they, then they can afford houses and gain security. 100,000 people who would otherwise be deforesting the jungle around Manaus are now prospering in town making such things as mobile phones and televisions. Of course, fast growing cities are far from unmitigated good. Unmitigated is unstoppable or mitigate is reduce, stop, control or uncontrollable, uncontrollable. They are not just uncontrollable good, they are far from uncontrollable good. They concentrate crime, pollution, disease and injustice as much as business, innovation, education and entertainment. There are positives and then there are negatives as well. But if they are overall a net good for those who move there, it is because cities offer more than just jobs. They are transformative in the slums as well as the office stars and leafy suburbs. The progress is from hick to metropolitan to cosmopolitan. What do you mean by that? Hick is uh, let's say rural or villagey thing. Metropolitan to cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan is better than metropolitan. What do you mean by that? Cosmopolitan is more of a global city. Metropolitan is a city. Cosmopolitan is more global. So they are saying they are transformative. They change something from rural to city to global. They change the people who are from village, people who are uh, not uh, sophisticated and fine with finesse in some sort to what they uh, to cosmopolitan. Right. So in this page, we have read about good, 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 good things about this. Uh, this entire thing talks about good things about the cities and then finally they also say hey everything that is good also comes with some cons some bads always going to be there but overall if there is a net good as in overall the positives are much higher than the negatives then I think we should be good that is what the author is trying to suggest. And now we look at the questions and answer the question. Question 1. Which one of the following statements would undermine the author's stand regarding the greenness of the city? So undermine means which one of the statement could be the opposite of what the author tries to convey is what we are looking at. Compactness of the big cities in the west increases the incident of violent crime. Violent crime sounds like what the author won't say but regarding the greenness of the city so this is not very relevant for our question sorting through rubbish contributes to the rapid spread of diseases in the slum this could undermine but again not in the rele not relevant high density of cities leads to an increase in carbon dioxide and global warming this sounds relevant to green and sounds opposite of what the author might want to convey. Over the last decade, the cost of utilities has been increasing for city dealers. This is cost. So this is also not relevant. So what is relevant with what has to be relevant? Greenness of the cities is what we are looking at. We are looking at, at about environment. Increase of violent crime is something most likely the author won't say. This is opposite. But this is not relevant. Sorting through rubbish, spread of diseases, this is in some sense opposite. Would undermine the author's stand in general, but not about the green. Right? 
high density of cities lead to increase in carbon dioxide and global warming this is very relevant to green city it is also opposite this is your answer over the last decade the cost of utilities is about cost so it is not relevant but this is opposite of what the author is trying to say in general right your answer question number 2 according to the passage quarter cities are environmentally friendly for all of the following reasons except so which are the reasons why they are environmental friendly find all of them and then what is the opposite what is left out is your answer their transportation is energy efficient this is a valid reason why they are environmental friendly they recycle material this is another reason why they are environmental friendly they sort out garbage it is a reason why they are environmental friendly their streets are kept clean this is not true this is also not a reason why it is environmental friendly which means d is your answer d is the right option their streets are kept clean question number 3 we can infer that kalthor statement still jars we read about this jars means uh, causing an unpleasant sensation with most people because most people regard cities as places of disease and crime okay for this we need to understand what did kalthor say based on which what did people think so we have to go back to the passage so kalthor is here what did he say city is the most environmentally benign form of human settlement each dweller consumes less land less energy less water and produces less pollution than his counterparts in settlements of lower densities so kalthor talks about how the city is much green consumes less now we'll move on to the question so we'll see Re regard city as place of disease and crime this could be true but this is not why it jars do not consider city to be eco friendly places i think this could be the answer do not regard cities as good places to live in not really why it jars consider people consider most people consider cities to be very crowded and polluted this is true in some sense most people do consider cities to be very crowded and polluted but that is not why it still jars do most people do not consider cities to be eco friendly places well, let us go back to the passage again the passage says the city is the most environmentally benign form of human settlement so they are talking about how environmentally positive this is which is means eco friendly places P most people do not consider the city to be eco friendly places option b is your answer Question four. In the context of the passage, the author refers to Manas in order to. So we'll go back to the passage and then look at what is Manas. Manas is here. They talk about uh, stopping deforestation and jobs, right? So we here we are. Explain how urban areas help the environment. Looks like it. Looks like the answer. Describe the infrastructure efficiencies of living in a city. Not really. explain where city source they labor for factories not really promote cities why is it there they are talking about labor they are talking about uh, sources of uh, employment and all of that but what is the focus of talking about manas in general in this entire passage was to look at how it helps environment how it prevents deforestation and not about being a source for factories this is a side effect of uh, being clean environmentally or stopping people from deforestation promote cities as employment hubs for people this also is a side effect of this happening but this is not why this happens but helping the environment or about deforestation is why the answer is let's go back here say how to stop deforestation is the reason why the author discusses the idea of monas city so the answer for that is option a right uh, last question in this from the passage it can be inferred that cities are good places to live in for all of the following reasons except that so you are find you are looking to find out all the reasons and then find the odd one out right cities are good places to live in offer employment opportunities it's been discussed yes definitely helps prevent destruction of environment we just saw manas example it tells you it helps prevent destruction of environment 
contribute to the cultural transformation of the resident the last line that talks about uh, hick to metropolitan to cosmopolitan that is the transformation cultural transformation of the residents living there have suburban areas as well as office areas so what having suburban areas and office areas is not why cities are good places to live in cities are good places to live in because they offer opportunity they help keep the environment better and then they facilitate in cultural transformation but not because of this which means option d is your answer right option d is your answer